Shalom, 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 shalom. I'm gonna get all power to glory the most high and how will pass on my shame one make y'all shy. Spread us like right, coming back in the cold country spirit, the five bay area. And the topic of this video will be where do you go when you go when you pass away? Are you dying? Because in this world, they say, oh, when grandpa, grandma, uncle, niece, nephew, whatever, when they get put to death, are they um, they die? They in heaven, are they in hell? But according to the scriptures, that's not correct. All right, so we're gonna get down to the, um, down to the facts of what the Bible say, because everybody said they believe in the Bible, but don't know that real, I, um, the real ideology of what the Bible is really is speaking about, what the Bible is really coming with. Okay, all that heaven and hell, a devil down there with a pitchfork poking you, all red got horns, it's fiery down there in hell. That's that's not facts. That's actually Greek mythology. You know, we got to get that Greek mythology out of our head and really read the Bible for ourselves. Because when you read the Bible for ourselves, it's going to tell you what's going on. All right? Let's get this piece out. You know, because there's a lot of misconceptions out here. Let's get Colossians. Get that real quick. It's Colossians chapter 1 and verse 26. It says, even the mystery which have been hid for ages from ages and from generations but now is made manifest in the saints so literally the concept of heaven and hell you already being in heaven and hell when you pass away it's a damn mystery because people don't really know the truth you know but it's chosen men and women they will not actually rightly divide the truth in sincerity and understand that you don't actually you're not actually in heaven nor in hell, you know, when you pass away. That's not a real thing, according to the scriptures. All right, let's get to it. Let's go to Daniel. Let's get Daniel chapter 12, and verse 2. It says, um, Daniel chapter 12, verse 2. It, means this. it says, and many of them that sleep. So literally sleep is not, I'm going to take a nap. Um, or, um, you know, uh, let, me, let me go sleep for the night. No, literally sleep in this context literally death. Are you, you dead? How do you know? Let's get it. Let's go to John. You know, because you got to rightly divide the precepts. Precept upon precept, line upon line here a little, there a little. You know, according to um, Isaiah 28. This is um, St. John chapter 11, verse 11. It reads thus. These things said he, and after that he say unto them, Our friend Lazarus sleepeth. So literally, I was shy saying, Who the world ignorant calls Jesus Christ is saying, Our friend Lazarus is sleep. But I go that I may awake him out of sleep. Then said his disciples, Lord, if he sleep, he shall do well. So literally, they not really understanding what's going on in this fact. They literally saying, Oh, he's sleep, he's doing well. Let's get this piece of right quick. Let's go to um, John chapter 3 and verse 12. It's reads this. It says, If I have told you earthly things and you believe not, how shall you believe if I tell you heavenly things? That's literally what's going on right now. Even the apostles, the most mightiest men that's going to be sitting on sitting on the throne, didn't even comprehend that the most high was saying. I mean, not the most high, yeah, how was I was saying? Um, that Lazarus was dead. Okay, let's, let me just read it again. It says, this is St. John chapter 11, verse 12 again. It says, Then said his disciples, Lord, if he sleep, he shall do well. How bad? Yahweh shall spake of his death. But they thought that he spoken of the of taking of the rest of in sleep. So they literally thought he was resting. But Yahweh Shai is literally talking about this man is dead. Lazarus, our friend, is, is dead. He's no more here. He's passed away. Verse 14, it says, Then said Yahweh Shai unto them, Plainly, Lazarus is dead. Okay, that's how we know in Daniel 12 when we read it again. It's literally talking about you dead, especially in this context. Okay, let's read Daniel. Let's go back to Daniel chapter 12, verse 2. It says, And many of them that sleep in the depths of the earth shall awake some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. So, literally. Once you when you sleeping in that time, and it's time the Son of Man come, you're gonna get risen back up. 
and you're going to get your judgment. Literally. So, he, let's, let's read this again. So, like it, it says, um, some to everlasting life. So, everlasting life is what? It's literally the kingdom of heaven. Everlasting life is being having that immort immortality body. And it says, um, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. So, you literally going to get everlasting contempt. So, it's either you you in heaven or so-called hell in lower state okay so that concept of you in heaven once you pass away are you in hell once you pass away that's false because you literally gonna get your judgment once the son of man come literally all right let's let's, let's, let's get this getting this all right let's go to uh ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 7 it says verse 7 says then shall the dust meaning you know man are mortal bodies it's literally gonna go back to dust let's, let's read that let's read that let's go to genesis chapter 2 and verse 7 let's get to the point it says and yahweh formed man of the dust of the ground so we literally made from the dust of the ground so our bodies are literally made from the dust of the ground scientifically it's a science scientifically fact that we have the same elements in our body as in the, in the ground. Even on the, on, the, on another level, or the another fact is that we know how so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American we could be in different shades of brown, just like the just like the dirt. The top of the surface, we're more lighter. You get deeper down in it, you get more darker. Same as us in this thing. So, so literally, we're the dust of the ground. All right. Let's go to Ecclesiastes 12 and 7 again. Let's read. It says, Ecclesiastes 12 and 7, it says, Then shall the dust to, just like it, then shall the dust return to earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto Yahweh who gave it. So literally, the most high Yahweh, while Yahweh Shai, gave us the spirit, and it's going to go back to him. Literally. So, it, you know, so this idea of, oh, got the wings, grandma, grandpa, big mama, you know, they got the wings. They are they are um, guardian angel now. That's that's false. They literally in the spirit world right now, not knowing what you got going on. Cause why the Most High Yahweh, Yahweh gave them gave them that spirit and it goes right back to him. You know. Let's read this other precept. Let's go to Ecclesiastes three, three and three and Let's go 20. This is um, Ecclesiastes 3 and 20. It says, all go into one place. All are of the dust and all turn to dust again. Literally, man, beast, all are, all dust. Okay? And then we will return back to just like uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 7. Just stated. It says, verse 21. It says, who knoweth the spirit of man that go upward? So it literally said the spirit of man go over upward. It's like yeah, upward. Back to the most high Yahweh. Literally in that spirit world. So you literally not in heaven. We're literally in that spirit world. Back to him. No angel wings, no halo, not no guardian angel, none of that type of stuff. That's not true, according to the scriptures. Alright. Let's get this. Let's go to Job. Job 14. This is Job chapter 14, verse 12. It says, So man lieth down and riseth not till the heavens be no more. They shall not awake nor be raised out of their sleep. So until the most high Yahweh Yahweh Shai come back, he's not going to raise them out of the sleep. They're going to put, they're going to literally, like we all say in the world, we're going to lay them to rest. Because literally they resting. It's a resting season. Let them rest. Because when the time of judgment come, which, let's get that. Because, you know, they're going to get judged, you know. Let's get this. It's um, um, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, and verse 16. And it reads this. And it says, and moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. So literally, under the sun, that's where everybody's going to get judged at. Literally. You know, so that... Oh, 
He got judged already. He got judged and got put to death. You know, his judgment kept caught up to him. But literally, at the end of video, you're going to be judged again when your son of man comes, which is our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, Hamashiach. Gonna get judged again under the sun, literally on earth. All right, so literally, that's what's going. Literally, is going to happen. All right, let's go to um, let's go First Corinthians. You know, you know we you gotta understand that whole concept of that. It's very not, it's not scripture. Let's go to First Corinthians. 1115. It's 1 Corinthians chapter uh, 15 and 50. It reads this. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. Neither do a corruption inherit in corruption. Behold, I shew you in shew you a mystery. So it's literally gonna show this. This is a mystery. We shall not all sleep. So we all not gonna die in this thing. Literally, are we all not going to die? But we all shall be changed. So we all going to be changed in this, in this thing. It says, in a moment, in the twinkling of the eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised up and corruptible. And we shall be changed, for this, corruption, the, for this corruptible must be put on incorruption, and this mortal must be put on immortality. So you're literally going to go from being a, a, a celestial being, I mean a terrestrial being to being a celestial being. So I'm from a, a man body to a spirit, which is that spirit which is un, incorruptible. This body that we live in is corruptible. It decays, it get old, knees hurt, back hurt, head hurt, tooth hurt, all these things you can't see, you, you, you can't smell, you can't hear, all these different elements that hits our body and breaks us down. The more we live on this earth, the more we get polluted in this wicked society, the more our body breaks down. All right. So this 54, it says, so when this corruptible shall put on on the incorruption and this mortal shall put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass saying that is written. Death is swallowed up in victory. So death is literally going to be swallowed up. We're never going to die no more once we get to the kingdom of heaven. You know, because we're not going to sin. We're not going to be in affliction. We're not going to be um, um, doing a matter of wickedness. Anymore. You know, so that concept of hell, because hell is not actually a real thing either. That's a, another subject, but let's prove that. You know, let's, let me, let's go to Jonah real quick. Let's get Jonah. You know, because people think hell is like a real thing, a real place. And hell is not, it's not that. Go to Jonah chapter 2 and verse 1. And it reads this. It says, Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God out of the fish's belly and said, I cry by reason of my affliction unto Yahweh. And he heard me out of the belly of out of the out of the belly of hell, cried I, and thou heardest my voice. So literally he's saying, I'm in the belly of hell. Living in the in fish belly is hell to him. It's affliction. It's a burdensome to me. So literally, it's all about a mind state or where you at in life. Or if you're in affliction or not. Literally, hell is affliction. Catching hell out there. Hurting and getting sick. Doing all these um, abominable things that's being done to you. Now, let's get this another piece. Let's go to Revelations. Because you got to, you know, this is right here. You got to take it with a pill. You know, you ain't got to just, you got to, you just got to take it. Just at the Lord, you know. It says, this is Revelation 20 and 14. It says, and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. But I thought hell was, was a, a pit of lake of fire. I thought hell was literally fire. Burning, pitchfork with the devil. Horns were all red men. No. Death and hell are gonna be cast into the lake of fire, literally. Cause we're not gonna be a victim anymore. We're gonna be in the kingdom. There's no more. We're not gonna be in poverty anymore. We're gonna be in, in the glory and state. And it says in death, because why we're gonna put in that that immortal body. We're not gonna sin no more, cause the wages of sin is death. Mm -hmm. So that concept of hell, 
It's not real, according to the scriptures. That's all Greek mythology. You're not in heaven. That's all made up. You know? Literally. Just look, watch this. Let's see, let's see. Let's squeeze it real quick. It's about to my head. So I can just, you know. This is, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12. It says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? So there it says, Lucifer, the son of the morning, which is not really, you know, not the devil, the man with the red man, so -called, the so-called Edomite, I mean, the so-called white man, the Edomite to the Bible speak of. It's literally saying he is in heaven right now. He's going to get, he's going to fall from heaven, meaning he's going to be in the ruler of the state. To rule his real estate, he gonna fall from, not actually heaven, because why it's three heavens according to the scriptures. It's where the, the father sit in the firmament, and now he we're, um, on earth where we stay, where we where we walk our feet. So literally, his heaven is now. But we in hell. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American. We are literally in hell right now because we've been get shot down. It's like, it's like it. We get shot down killed daily by our own people we, we in poverty we in the hoods we in the ghettos we in the slums you name you could we, we're financial we're not there we don't own no land we don't own no we don't own nothing that we have our homes we grant them out our even the homes we so-called buy we still paying off a mortgage our cars is not ours you got to go to a white man for us and you drive our own car to get all these insurance life insurance death insurance um, hurricane insurance and all these insurances just to make sure that everything be covered for them but we ain't heaven no we don't have no benefit we, we don't get no benefits from our family no nothing is passed down none of that so it's literally saying that we ain't he hell right now and they ain't in heaven it's literally all right let's get two more let's go john chapter five going back you know dealing with you know when you're sleeping it's five and 25 and it means this this is john saint john chapter 5 and 25 it says verily verily i say unto you that hour is coming what is that hour is that when the son of man come and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the son of god and they that hear shall live for as the Father hath life in Himself, so hath He given to the Son of to the Son to have life in Himself, and hath given Him authority to execute judgment, also because He is the Son of Man. So the Son of Man, which is Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, He gonna He gonna give us our judgment when this when He come back. The judgment is literally He's, he's literally it's gonna be saying, okay, He gets heaven, kill him, hell. He's get him, kill him, so called him. You know, he's gonna give everybody that judgment. Verse twenty eight. It says, "Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming, and in the which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice." So everybody in the grave is gonna hear his voice, and shall come forth. They that have done good unto the resurrection of life. So they gonna come. The people that is so called, you know, passed away. They gonna they gonna get resurrected. They gonna. You know, get their judgment or get life, which is everlasting and king, which is the kingdom of heaven. And it says, and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. So you're going to literally get resurrection and damnation again. You're going to literally die again and stink. You're going to get raised up. If you wasn't, if you was wicked, you're going to die again. You know, so that's literally how things is going to go. All right. So let's get this one last piece. Of, let's get a second Peter. So that concept of oh, granny in heaven, big grand, big mama in heaven, grandpa, grandpa, dad, auntie, niece, you know they ain't heaven right now. No, that's not real. That's far from the truth according to the scriptures. Let's get Second Peter, chapter three, verse ten. This is Second Peter chapter three, verse ten, and reads thus: But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. 
in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great voice, it's like a great noise, and the elements shall melt with every heat, the earth and the earth also and the works that are therein should be burned up so everything around us these skyscrapers these buildings everything all these these homes these these nice luxury cars you know they're gonna get burned up everything it says verse 11 seeing that seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness so where are you who are you gonna be are you gonna be in this? Are you gonna be in the the, the graces, the grace of Yahweh Shai in his bosom? Like, nah, he was a good sheep. Are you gonna be that nasty, wicked sheep, dirty sheep? Got his got his um his coat on nasty. Are you gonna be that sheep? Are you gonna be that righteous sheep? You know, it says verse twelve. Looking for, looking for, and hastening unto the coming of the son of Yahweh, because that's what everybody in goodly conversation is, is talking about. Always waiting for is when your house shot come back. Hopefully we getting ready. You know, we ain't studying, we fasting, we praying, hoping and praying that the most high just destroy this place at any given second. You know? It says looking for and hasting unto the coming of the sun the coming of, of Yahweh, where in the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with every heat. Literally, that's exactly what's gonna happen. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, so everybody that had his promises, elect men and women and children, his promise, that's, you know, they're going to get the promise, which is the glory, the, the king, everlasting life. Look for new heavens and new earth, wherein, where, wherein dwelleth righteousness. So that's all we should be looking forward to, you know, so... There's no such thing as guardian angels, granny, mommy, papa. There's no such thing. No, they in the spirit were waiting to get judged when the Son of Man come. All right. Hopefully, this was an edifying video to the spirit. One of y'all power go to the most high. Yahweh, by Hashem, Mashiach, one like Yahweh Shai. Hey, call me Allah. Shalom.